afternoon, buckling medians and sidewalks along Wyoming have residents concerned, saying it's a hazard to pedestrians and it also doesn't make the city look good. News 13's Rebecca Adkins is live along Wyoming with the story. Rebecca? Well, Kim, you can see just how high the cement sidewalk has raised from the ground, and because of that, we took residents' concerns to the city. Many Albuquerque residents like Lloyd Seagraves enjoy being outside. He takes great pride in his city. Oh, I do. I, I definitely do. Because this uh, we have a lot of visitors in this town. We have a couple of big attractions. So when he sees images of sidewalks like this along Wyoming near I-40, buckling up from the ground, and medians doing the same, he's not too happy about it. We think they ought to maintain because it's a safety issue. Pavement raised so high you can see clear through the other side. And I see it a lot. Bernadette Martinez says these sidewalks are actually hazards. I've walked out of a restaurant and walked on the sidewalk and there's a lump there and I have tripped over one. She's seen the problem outside her own home. You can literally jump off like a ramp. That's how bad it is. Like this median along Wyoming, just south of Candelaria. Every day I'm thinking, oh, what if somebody falls over that? She says these are problems that need to be fixed. I would like to get an answer. Who is responsible? The city says when the temperatures change, there is potential for sidewalks to buckle, but they say it isn't common. They ask that if citizens see issues with medians or sidewalks, that they report them to 311 so they can fix them. I really like it. I really appreciate it. But Seagraves says with the money spent to put these features in, we think they ought to maintain. He hopes they're well cared for the way he cares for his city. Now, the city says the median near Manal will be repaired by crews in the next few days. They say they'll also be working with DOT to ensure that this sidewalk near the I-40 entrance along Wyoming will be fixed as well. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, the city also says if a sidewalk outside a residence needs repairs, it is the responsibility of the homeowner.